I'm Chris DeMassey, a portfolio manager in the Montgomery Global Business. Today we're going to take a couple of minutes to talk about the world's largest companies. And I have two questions for you to ponder. Firstly, do you know which company is the most valuable in the world? And secondly, do you know which company is going to be the first to be worth $1 trillion? Let me help out a little on the first one. I've put together a leaderboard of the world's top five companies by market capitalization. In fifth place, with a market cap of just over 500 billion US dollars, is Tencent. Tencent's the owner of WeChat, the largest social media platform in China, with 1 billion monthly active users. In fourth place is Microsoft, the world's largest software company that brought us Windows and Word and Excel. Microsoft has a market cap nearing 700 billion dollars. The bronze medal goes to Alphabet also known to its friends as the owner of the Google search business. Alphabet's valued at more than $700 billion as well. The silver medal is awarded to Amazon, the world's largest online retailer outside of China and disruptor of everything. It also has a market cap above $700 billion. Its founder Jeff Bezos is now the richest man on the planet. And the gold medal goes to Apple. You probably guessed that. The iPhone maker is worth more than $800 billion at its current share price. Now let's turn to the second question, and it's clearly a much more difficult one to answer. Which company will hit a $1 trillion stock market valuation first? For some historical context, it's worth noting that there's not yet been one company which has been able to lay claim to a 13-digit valuation. Two weeks ago, Apple came pretty close. Apple shares hit a record price around $182 on March 12, giving the company a share market value of $930 billion and change. Other than that, we need to look back a couple decades and do a little maths to find the only company besides Apple that's come close to the target. Back in December 99, Microsoft recorded a market value of more than $600 billion. On the surface, no pun intended, this might seem quite far from the mark, but if we adjust for inflation, Microsoft's 99 valuation is equivalent to almost $900 billion in today's dollars. In fact, just last night, Morgan Stanley, the large American bank and broker, published a note to its clients entitled, Plotting the Path to $1 Trillion. And in the report, the author argues that rampant adoption of Microsoft's cloud offering and improving profitability across the business could see Microsoft earn $50 billion in annual profits and cross the trillion dollar market cap threshold in the year ahead. So now it's over to you to come up with the answer to the trillion dollar question. Which company will be the first to reach this record valuation level? Let us know your thoughts. Follow us on the website, rogermontgomery.com, on Facebook and on Twitter. I'm Krista Massey, thank you.